Is wudu compulsory before touching the Qur'an? Many Muslims consider that wudu is compulsory before touching the Qur'an or before reading the Qur'an. And this is the view of the majority of the Muslims. But the scholars are divided whether it's fard or not. There's a verse in the Qur'an in Surah Waqiyah, chapter 56, verse number 77 to 80, where it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the Qur'an in a tablet well preserved. And none shall touch it except those are pure. So based on this verse of the Qur'an, many of the Muslims think it is fard that wudu should be there before touching the Qur'an. But if you read the nuzul quran and if you read the comment of Ibn Qasir, he says that this verse was revealed when people alleged that Prophet Muhammad he got the revelation from the Satan. So this verse actually says that none shall touch the Qur'an. It's talking about the Qur'an in Lohim Hafuz. It's not talking about the Musaf of the Qur'an. This copy of the Qur'an, anyone can purchase it for $4, $5, 100 rupees, 150 rupees, easily, and touch it. What is talking about? That none shall be able to touch that Qur'an in Lohim Mehfuz, except those who are mutahareen. So the Kitab in Maknoon is the book, the Lohim Mehfuz. And mutahareen doesn't only mean bodily cleanliness, person Shumni Vudu. It means a person who's not only clean in body, but even in mind and soul. A person who's sinless, referring to the angels, that the Satanists cannot come close to the Qur'an, they cannot touch it. It is only the angels who can do it. So this verse doesn't refer to the Musaf of the Qur'an. So if you know the nuzul al quran when it was revealed. So most of the scholars say that, based on this, the scholars who know the nuzul al quran they say that, therefore, wudu, from this verse, you can't conclude that wudu is fard. But most of the scholars agree it is mustahab. It's encouraged. It's preferable that a person should be in wudu when he reads or touches the Qur'an.